It's dark out here. Is it? <laughs> In your camera? Or? And the moon is still out. Yep, we're good. Solve homelessness and uh, what's that for? Keys. I don't need your keys. Bye. We're not leaving without you. We might. <laughs> okay. It's like six o'clock in the morning. Are you going inside too? Oh. Six o'clock in the morning and we have like a 12, 12 hour drive ahead of us to get to Albuquerque. Who are you Me talking to? In Mexico. All right, we got into Albuquerque yesterday. We ate some dinner and then uh, just yeah, yeah. knocked out. We're now getting ready to attend this film festival. A conversation I've been having a lot lately has been the difference between creating art and churning out content. Um, and in the past, and even some more recently, I have been more on the churning out content side, where I'm just putting stuff up to be present, to maintain my station on the internet as a content creator or whatever. But that often comes at a cost, and that cost is not enjoying it, um, getting burned out, not making stuff that I'm proud of. And a way that I've found that I can enjoy, not get burned out, and make stuff that I'm proud of is by creating things that in my mind are more art than just content. Rather than just creating something for the sake of creating something, answering a Google question or vlogging a random trip to the grocery store, I put more thought and effort into the story behind it. I put more thought and effort into the, into the editing behind it. I spend longer on creating the video until it's the exact Thing that I want, the thing that I'm proud of, the thing that I want to re-watch later down the line. And that's a large reason why I haven't been uploading very frequently recently. At the beginning of the summer, um, late spring, early summer, I was uploading twice a week. And then I got to a point where I was just making things to make stuff and just putting it up on YouTube and just uploading and saying, there it is, and then forgetting about it and not even thinking about what I actually had made. And um, I don't want to do that anymore. I've decided that if I put more time and effort into the individual things, then I'll be more proud of it and want to rewatch it. Hey. Okay. Sorry. No, you're good. I have a question if you want to be on this. What are you talking about? Art versus content. Do you have it's anything to say? Conversation. Fair enough. Bold of you to say after our podcast episode. Oh, you're still recording. Yeah. Is this live? <laughs> In my mind, this is, by doing this documentary, it leans way more on the art side than the content side, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Um, because 
It's it wasn't just something it wasn't just something for the sake of that thing. There was a, a bigger purpose involved in it. Mm-hmm. And we've talked about on our podcast a number of times just the the difference between art and you know the sort of things that art uh, what art means and all of that sort of stuff. But on a more practical level for me, in ter- in uh, in terms of putting stuff onto YouTube, there's so many people who just upload things because they need the AdSense or they need to put up a sponsored video. And as someone who doesn't make any money doing that, then I have the ability to, you know, think deeper about what I'm putting up or spend more time on it. I don't have a deadline. I don't ever have a deadline. I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a perfect heuristic, but I think an easy heuristic is to say, am I asking questions or stating an opinion? I think art is good at asking questions. In in the format that you're using, it's not necessarily about uh, looking at a single video and saying, did I did this happen in this video? You might be able to to achieve the same what you're what you're looking for over a longer period of time. Right. I feel like that is true. Mostly if there's cohesiveness between. Hi guys. Them. Which one is that? Warren? That's Warren. Did you call me by accident? No. (laughs) (laughs) That's Smith. Mug little thing. Back there. So I'm in Albuquerque with a couple of my brothers who uh, decided to support this um, thing. What is this thing called? This film festival. Decided to come and watch this film at this film festival with me. Um. So I've been talking about art versus content and how I'm tired of just churning out content. Uh, This is Smith. He's a composer. He's a music composer. As someone who doesn't make makes such minimal money on YouTube, there's no more point in me just churning out content because I make something. If I make four things in a month and they each get a thousand views, I make, I don't know, like 30 bucks maybe, you know, and if I make one thing in that month and it gets 1,000 or 1,500 views, I make $5 or $10. Like the the difference between those is so minute that it doesn't matter to me. And I would, at the end of the day, I'd rather finish that month with one thing that I was proud of and wanted to watch again, rather than four things that I just threw up for the sake of putting something up. Right. If you have, if you get a huge budget film and you're, you have, uh, you know, you're highly uh, what's acclaimed right um, then you can you know your quote can be much higher you could charge enough so that you don't have to get any other work that year right and then you can focus all of your time and attention on that right but even when people do that I've I've found it seems that they still I mean tend you know, to find other stuff yeah also. It's, it's the nature of being able to make more money is that you keep well, yeah, if someone hired me to make a, well, like this documentary, right. they I got hired to edit it, but that didn't make me stop doing everything else. Right. If it if you had gotten paid 50 grand to do it, would you have stopped doing everything else? No. I would have continued to make YouTube videos as often as I did. And this is the point that I'm trying to get to, is that I have the freedom, because I don't make, I don't rely on YouTube for my income, to take as long off as I want or to make exactly what I want and not care about certain things. I don't want to care about the the game of YouTube, right? right? How to keep the audience engaged. Like the thumbnail and the title, yeah, I want people to click on it, but I want the story and, and the filmmaking to keep people there. I don't want to have to cut switch shots every three to five seconds just to keep someone's attention. Now the first step in heading to watch this showing is to get my festival pass. I what? flipped out the camera, you might want to start on. <laughs> I can't do anything. I have to go pick up the festival pass to allow me to get into the showings. How are you going to get into the showings, Smith? I think Chef will buy me a ticket. You better hope. I paid him for it. So. Sheffield, did you buy Smith a ticket to the festival? Uh, to the festival? No, to the showing. Yes. And he paid me. Great. So we're all good. I'm going to find where I need to check in. I'm on the University of New Mexico campus and I have to figure out how to get this 
pass. I hope this is the right place. Apparently that was not the right place to go, and now I have to figure out what the heck I'm supposed to do to get into my own film at this festival. Turns out I went to the completely wrong place. I was supposed to go to where the actual film is being shown to then register to, as one would expect. I don't, I don't know why I thought any different. I got my badge. Um, and the block of films that my film is in starts in about 25 minutes. I'm nervous. This is something that I've dreamed about for a long time, and now I'm worried that it's not going to meet my expectations. So <laughs> I'm gonna like tell myself there'll be three, five people in there. Me, my two brothers, and two other people. And if there's more, I'll be pleasantly surprised, but five. Five is what I'll set my expectation to and see, see where it gets to. I'm so nervous. I don't know why I'm nervous. I'm not even doing that. I'll do a Q and A afterwards, but like I've already done all the work. I'm way more nervous for this than anything I've ever put on YouTube. This could be part of the reason that I'm nervous. There's people here <laughs> and lots of them. Yeah, I don't have to sit too close to the edge, but just close enough. I'm only doing the Q&A for the waters. For the waters. <laughs> I want a bottle of water. The Emmys happened a couple days ago, so I don't think many people Well, So? It's just the Emmys. I did it. How to film in a film festival. <laughs> I almost start crying during it. Crazy to like have a dream come true like that and actually like, I don't know, be there to witness it come true. I don't know, it's, it's I don't know how to explain what I'm trying to say. <clears throat> It's crazy to have a dream and then, you know, through your work, actually get it to come true. I don't know. I worked a long time on that project, worked really hard on that project, and it's, it's rewarding to have it end the way that it did. So that was awesome. That's why I came to Albuquerque. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm even in the United States right now anyway, in general. Um, Thank you for watching this video. I hope that something that has been said resonates with you. I hope that you understand my point and what I'm trying to say and the difference that I feel when I make stuff that I'm passionate about or feel like I put due diligence into versus just throwing something up onto the platform just for the sake of putting something up there. Um, I think moving forward, it will be more of the former and less of the latter. But, you know, life is life. Life evolves, people evolve, things change. I don't know what the future's gonna hold, but for now I'm focusing on stories that I wanna tell exactly in the ways that I wanna tell them. And if that's what you wanna see, would love to have you subscribe. In any case, I appreciate all of you that have made it this far. Thank you to everyone who donated to allow me to get to this film festival. Um, I will let you know when the film is at a point where we can show it to you. 
um, if you're interested in seeing it. But um, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.